Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm the founder of Onyx Interactive. I'm a seasoned executive who's worked with some of the world's most admired brands, such as Uber, Starbucks. I'm an avid fitness um, professional. I do triathlons, and this is kind of what led me to create Onyx, the world's first connected fitness platform with a specialized focus in Pilates and functional wellness. I'm Andrea Metcalf. I'm the co-founder. Uh, Jonathan and I have worked really hard to bring this product to market, and I have 35 years of experience in the Pilates and fitness world. A celebrity fitness expert with appearances on the Today Show, Good Morning America, best-selling book, videos, and I've owned a Pilates studio, which um, really helped us understand the market and bring this product to the forefront. You know, I think it might help to set the stage of kind of how I got here today. You know, as a endurance athlete, done triathlons of all distance, like most 20 year olds, I don't take care of my body. I pounded myself into the pavement and I was always injured. So a friend encouraged me to try Pilates and really that core strength, that stability muscles, my flexibility improved, my race time improved, and I actually started looking good. You know, during COVID, we had to change. You do look good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> during COVID, we had to change the way we, we operate in life. And as a avid of some other connected fitness brands, I looked around the room and said, why is my reformer not digital? Why is my reformer not cool and engaging and tech enabled? And I knew there had to be a better way. Um, and I broke out the scratch book and kind of started creating Onyx. Well, and what I found is during the pandemic, having a Pilates studio is at one point there were no more classes. And typically Pilates is something that you have to do with a personal trainer. So at the big box gyms, you're not even allowed on a Pilates reformer. But my people came in, they used the reformer and they watched the digital content in front of them. And they were really excited about it. I thought I was out of a job. Instead, I was out of a studio. But the other part to this whole situation is just the fact that Pilates is really coming into a great space. And we yeah. know that's really important. Absolutely. You know, one of the problems with the actual reformer is you have to turn and rotate your body 180 degrees to get an effective workout. Unlike a bike or a treadmill where you're always looking at a digital content, for a reformer you have to turn it over your shoulder as taking your body out of alignment as Andrea, alignment specialist here, will yell at you. And that's not good. So what we did is we reinvented the entire machine. I broke it down from the very beginning and we incorporated what we call, you know, dual tension technology. So you're always facing one direction. Our reformer, you can attach those springs to the back, to the front, you can do every plane of motion facing that one direction to really bring that digital experience that Andre was talking about to the reformer space, which has never been done before. And what's else really exciting is Pilates is changing. It used to be that Pilates was very classical and as the athletic world started to realize its benefits in boxing and football and the NFL and even baseball, we started to see brands come to life like Solid Core and some other Legree Fitness that are taking it to an athletic place where Pilates isn't your grandma's workout anymore or just meant for people over 40, it's for everyone. And so we want to change that stigma that it's just for the people who can't really do much. Yeah, and I mean, there's never been a better time, right? We all know what Peloton did during the pandemic, record-breaking, you know, success in their organization. And, you know, studies after studies have shown consumers are going to want a hybrid life. They're not going to want just in their house. They're not going to want just in their studio. They want that hybrid life because it offers that convenience. And actually, the number one requested modality on Peloton's platform was Pilates. Pilates! <laughs> and so they brought Matt Pilates to life because, you know, as Andrea will talk about, the consumer shifting in that direction. So we're, we're so excited. We think the timing's perfect. We think this product is gonna meet a huge void in the need that other competitors aren't talking about. What was really exciting to see is when you looked on YouTube for free Pilates content, there were only a few providers in the paid space. And in the free space, we saw one gal at the beginning of the pandemic go from 1,000 viewers to over 600,000 views of her Pilates athletic workouts in just a few months. So our digital offering is not gonna be just the Mac Pilates, but that's gonna be our bridge to get them in, but it's also gonna be three flows of classical flow, athletic for the weekend warriors, and then health hurdler. We see Pilates machines these days in all the athletic physical therapy spaces, and that's gonna bridge the gap. You know, we know that the market's there. Um, $600 billion of annual health and wellness spend, and the at-home connected market is really booming. 255, 255 million estimated in 2020, and experts see that growing by 28.3% to 1.5 billion. And the Pilates yoga market share is 104 billion with about 11% card growth at 249 billion. 
So we know we are onto something. You know, there are those digital competitors. They're really focused on that cardio endurance right now. They're bringing strength in with the mirror. We know that we have brick and mortar, but our machine, which is patent pending, is gonna be able to take that brick and mortar reformer into the digital age. It's functional, it's convenient, and it's cost effective. That's right. And what's really excited is we have three proven revenue models. One is the connected products revenue. Two is the subscription for digital revenue. So once we get that customer, we're gonna keep them. And three, we have experience in studio and license agreements with some soft orders on board. Absolutely. We've already made traction today, but the most thing I'm excited about is our margins. At an average retail price of $2,900, <laughs> we're looking at a loaded unit cost right now of estimated to be $600. So that's a 78% profit margin. I started this company with this idea in November. We already have our physical prototype that we've been testing and breaking and fixing and hacking. We're going through design modifications for our second MVP shipment. We sold our first unit. We're talking to a licensed partner to purchase 20 units right now, and we are ready to set the next wheel in motion to build that pre-launch campaign. So you know in order to be successful and go against the big dogs, we're gonna need some dollars, and those dollars and cents make a lot of sense. We're looking for? $750,000 in a pre-seed investment. We're earmarking that, about two hundred fifty dollars is gonna go to our brand and our marketing, helping drive that pre-sale revenue and our pre-launch um, campaign. We have manufacturing costs that we're gonna factor in there, technology enhancements and studio investments. 